My name is John Melbourne, Principal Risk Management Surveyor at Ecclesiastical Insurance. I'd like to welcome you to this short presentation on panelised and modular building system construction methods in the context of contemporary stroke modern methods of construction. The use of panelised and modular techniques in modern buildings has grown in recent years, and I'd like to highlight some of the key drivers for this. A recent report by the Royal Institute of British Architects estimated that the speed and cost of using modern methods of construction has been estimated as being anything up to 60% faster and 40% cheaper to build. Many new buildings incorporate off-site factory built sections, which enable better quality control during the manufacturing stage. Recently, there's been a decline in skilled construction workers in the UK. Both Brexit and COVID have impacted this which means modern methods of construction are seen as advantageous as using off-site construction processes requires less skills and fewer people to assemble on site. The review of Part L of the building regulations in 2006 led to more focused guidance on the conservation of fuel and power in buildings, which has led to an increase in insulation of buildings. And the carbon zero challenge has seen an increase in use of insulated prefabricated construction methods as a means to improving the thermal performance of buildings. Additionally, the UK government is actively backing the use of modern methods of construction in many of its documents. With regards to panelised systems, these generally comprise of off-site factory built flat back panels, which can be used to form the walls, roof and floors of buildings, typically delivered on the back of a lorry for easy assembly and erection on site. The panels can be made from a variety of materials, although timber or steel framed and face panels are the most common. Different types of insulation material from non-combustible mineral wool through to combustible foam based materials such as polyurethane, polyisocyanurate, even polystyrene can be used within the panels. Service penetrations in the panels can expose the insulation core. This can be critical where combustible insulation materials have been used. Fire stopping of penetrations is therefore essential. Panelised systems usually require further site work than modular systems to finish them in the form of the application of an outer cladding and internal lining. Hybrid buildings being part panelised and part modular are not uncommon. One of the most popular panelised building systems are structurally insulated panel systems or SIPs in short. These comprise an insulated core sandwiched between two sheets of timber. They can be used to form either the full structural wrap the walls, the roof and floors to a building, or as infill sections to a timber or steel frame structure. Once erected, the panels can be clad and lined with many different materials, making it difficult to identify SIPs construction, which can lead to false assumptions about the building's fire performance, as the presence of a combustible insulation core and timber faced panels presents a significant fire loading. Many SIPs use polystyrene as the insulation core material. This is highly combustible, and many insurers will be reluctant to offer cover or will require an increased premium to insure the building as a result. An increasingly popular method of building classroom blocks or boarding accommodation is the use of volumetric stroke modular building techniques. This comprises off-site factory built finished sections of a building which are delivered to site and bolted together with services and utilities already in situ and merely needing connecting up to form the complete building. Many such buildings are designed to look like traditional construction with, for example, brick faced finishes and slate roofs. However, on close inspection, the walls are typically lightweight, with the brick facing actually being thin brick slips on an insulated built up wall system. And what appears to be a pitched roof is a facade designed to hide a flat roof and the services mounted on the flat roof. Modular buildings can be constructed from almost any material, so your insurer will need full details of the wall, roof and floor construction to determine acceptability. Much like modular buildings, pods are factory produced building sections that can be complete rooms or bolt together to form rooms. Pods are lightweight, can be steel or timber framed and can be insulated with a variety of material choices from non-combustible mineral wool to combustible foam based materials. They're preformed, fully fitted out sections of a building with typical uses as kitchens or bathroom units in residential flats, hotels, boarding accommodation. As with modular buildings, pods can be made from a mixture of combustible and non-combustible material. Let's have a look at some of the key considerations for panelised and modular construction. What could be the extent of fire damage? 
How can the performance be improved with fire stopping, fire breaks, compartmentation? What is the fire and rescue response? Many fire and rescue services will take a bespoke approach to building systems constructed from combustible materials, and once occupants have been accounted for, may, know, may well not commit to trying to save the building. How easy is it to repair a damaged or charred section? Can it be cut out and replaced, or will there be a need for dismantling undamaged sections of the building to affect repair? How susceptible is the building system choice to water damage? Will it require replacement, which can impact on both repair costs and business continuity in the event of a modest escape of water? As an insurer, we accept the need to embrace carbon zero and sustainability, but do have concerns about the amount of combustible materials being used in contemporary buildings and their resilience to the effects of fire and water. We would encourage early engagement with your insurer on any building or sustainability project, as whilst the project may comply with published guidance, it may not necessarily satisfy your insurer's requirements and could impact the insurability and cost to insure for its design lifetime. At Ecclesiastical, we have a dedicated team of risk management surveyors who have a wide knowledge of contemporary construction methods and are available to discuss any projects you may be planning. So please do get in touch. Thank you.